Welcome to Fun with Drilling Engineering. We already know the mud circulation system, and we know that the heavy drilling mud must be pumped over long distances. First, it will travel down several kilometers into the tiny drill string, then back up to the surface through the narrow annulus. That is why the pumps need to provide a very high pressure to pump enough mud through the system and to keep the borehole clean and in good shape. The only pumps that can generate such high pressures are piston pumps. A piston pump works like this syringe. When the piston moves back, it sucks in mud. And when the piston moves forward again, it pushes out mud with high pressure into the drill string and the borehole. Of course, we have some valves to help handle the flow. So again, when the piston moves back, mud is sucked in from the mud pits, and when it pushes outwards, mold is delivered into the drill string. As I said earlier, the advantage of the piston pump is that it can deliver the required high pressure, which is very good, but it also has disadvantages. One disadvantage is that the flow rate of a piston pump is relatively small. We usually need much more. The other disadvantage is that piston pumps do not provide a continuous flow. Instead, the flow is intermittent whenever the piston moves forward. But of course, engineers have come up with solutions to these problems. First, let's take a look at the flow rate. If the flow rate of one piston pump is not enough, then we put several piston pumps next to each other, maybe three. That is what we can see here behind me in a so-called triplex pump. Three pumps are arranged next to each other, thus the total flow rate for a single pump is tripled. If that is still not enough, then you can use several triplex pumps at the same time. Just like this. Three triplex pumps making a total of nine piston units, thus providing nine times the flow rate of a single piston pump. So obviously we have solved the problem of flow rate. But what can we do to smoothen the positive flow? Again, there's a simple solution to this problem. We arrange the pistons so that they work face shifted against each other, as you can see here. In this arrangement, there's always at least one piston moving forward resulting in a much smoother overall flow rate of a triplex pump compared to just a single pump. However, this is not enough for application. For further smoothening of the flow rate, there's a sort of a big balloon installed in the pressure line of each triplex pump. This balloon is called an air vessel. We will see how it works here in our experiment. In our experiment, without a balloon in the hose, a pulsating flow is seen fluctuating out the outlet, as you can see. But if we install a balloon in the hose, just like this behind me, we can see that the position is significantly re reduced and smoothened, and we have an even flow at the end. The same happens with the air vessel in the triplex pump. It absorbs all the position from the piston and provides a constant flow rate to be pumped into the borehole. Yes, you can learn this and so much more in our lecture, Basics of Drilling Engineering. We will be happy to have and to see you here with us in Freiburg. Glukov.